Hello YouTube and welcome to Synthetic Oil Info. My name is Tom Brown and in this video we're going to talk about one of Amsoil's aerosol products and that's Power Foam. Now here's a picture of the new can. Uh, they recently redesigned the can so you may have seen this product uh, in a, uh, a different appearance uh, but the product is the same. Uh, the, the Power Foam itself inside the can is the same product. Uh, this is a very, very good product, uh, especially for handheld uh, two and four cycle equipment and for cleaning out the uh, intake track on your car or pickup. This is uh, for gasoline two and four cycle engines, uh, so don't use it on your diesels. Uh, but basically what you do is you spray it down into the intake track of your engine, whether that's down through the carburetor on your uh, power sports uh, or handheld lawn equipment or uh, down into the intake uh, track on your car or pickup. Uh, any two or four cycle gasoline engine that you can spray this down into and basically what it does is it's going to go in there and it's going to uh, dissolve the gum and uh, other deposits that uh, have been left behind uh, as a result of the fuel and the combustion process taking place inside that engine. Uh, as those, uh, as that fuel goes through there, it leaves behind deposits, especially ethanol fuel. Uh, and as uh, the heat and everything builds up inside of an engine when it's running, uh, it causes deposits to stick to the sides of the intake track, uh, leaving behind gum and sludge and carbon that uh, slow down the flow of air through there. Uh, and in many cases, it starts to block off or completely blocks off important air passages or fuel passages. And that's what causes your engine to not run correctly uh, after it gets a few miles or hours on it or it's been sitting around for a while because uh, those things start to accumulate and uh, there's really nothing in the gasoline and there's obviously nothing in the air that is going to dissolve those. So you have to spray something down in there. Uh, that's got some detergency to it uh, that's going to go in there and attack those deposits and dissolve them back into a fluid and then they'll just pass on through your engine and get consumed as part of the combustion process uh, and then your engine will run a lot better. Uh, I know I've had uh, several different uh, pieces of handheld uh, lawn equipment, little blowers and uh, string trimmers and edgers uh, that get to the point where they just don't seem to run right and I just take the air filter off and have it run in there and just spray a little bit of power foam down in there uh, and then uh, at the very end just uh, spray enough in there to where it kills it uh, and then let it sit for about 15 minutes and that allows that power foam to uh, go to work inside that carburetor and inside that intake track uh, on two or four cycles doesn't matter uh, and it just dissolves all that uh, gum and sludge out of there. And boy, what a difference does it make uh, when you start it back up. Now, don't be surprised when you start it back up, it's going to smoke some. Uh, because this product is loosening up all that gum and sludge and that stuff. When it burns, it creates that smoke. Uh, and the product itself smokes a little bit as it's being consumed as well. Uh, so, you know, don't do this inside of a closed building. Uh, which you shouldn't be doing anyway. Uh, so make sure you have plenty of ventilation when you're doing this um, and be prepared for some smoke to come out of the back of your car. Uh, the more uh, deposits are inside your engine, the more it's going to smoke. So if you've got a really gummed up old engine, uh, be prepared. It's, it's going to do some smoking. Uh, but that's a good thing. That smoke coming out of there tells you that this product is working. Um, it also works very well, as I mentioned earlier, uh, because of all of the ethanol that we're burning now. Uh, that ethanol has so many problems, uh, leaving behind uh, what I call that ethanol sludge. Uh, and Power Foam gets down in there and dissolves all of that uh, and turns all that stuff back into a liquid so it can pass on through. Uh, and this can also be used on your older uh, carbureted uh, cars and trucks and tractors and uh, anything else that's got a two or a four cycle gasoline engine on it. So whether it's a you know a pump on a uh, you know a water pump that's got a little Briggs engine on it or something like that, or 
an old tractor that's been sitting around. Uh, a couple of cautions though, uh, on your newer cars that are equipped with mass airflow sensors, and that's that sensor that sits in the intake track, uh, usually in between the air filter and the uh, throttle mechanism on the throttle butterfly on your car. Uh, if your car is equipped with a mass airflow sensor, which will be a, uh, a, a sensor in the intake track that's got a bunch of wires coming up to it, uh, that measures the amount of air uh, that is flowing into your engine. Uh, do not spray power foam onto that sensor. It will uh, damage that sensor. So if you're going to spray this into a modern engine, that is equipped with a mass airflow sensor, you have got to spray it in somewhere after the mass airflow sensor on the way into the engine. Uh, so be careful with that. Uh, so you're going to have to find some other, usually like a vacuum hose or another port somewhere on the engine that you can loosen up uh, just long enough to spray the power foam down in there. Uh, and the engine may not run completely correctly uh, when you loosen up that uh, vacuum hose or that port, uh, but you're just going to spray this stuff down in there, uh, the power foam, and let it go to work. And then when you're all done, you're going to button everything back up and reconnect the hoses or, or close back up that port. And, uh, and, and then you'll go on down the road and your engine will run so much better. Uh, but again, do not spray this on the uh, mass airflow sensor. Uh, it's safe for everything else. It's not going to harm your other sensors or uh, the catalytic converter, anything else, uh, but it will harm the mass airflow sensor. So, and the, the, the dosage is usually a half to one can uh, per large engine. Now, if you've got a small engine, you know, like a little handheld trimmer or something, then you're not going to need near that much. Uh, you're just going to spray a little bit in there while it's running, and uh, you can usually hear when it, when it cleans that engine out. Uh, and so uh, there's no sense in running more in there than you need because uh, it'll clean that engine out very quickly. Um, so you don't need to run a whole lot through those smaller engines. Uh, but again, don't run it on diesels. Uh, run it on uh, two and four cycle gasoline. Um, but uh, any of the modern engines, the gas directed injected, uh, the turbocharged, it's not going to hurt any of those as long as you don't spray it on the mass airflow sensor. Uh, so. That's it for power foam. Here's another shot of the can. It does come with the nice red straw for uh, spraying it down into uh, small ports and uh, crevices and behind butterflies, stuff like that uh, inside there. So that's always handy. Uh, again, this is the new can. So there is a, there's an older can running around, uh, but uh, this is the same formula. So uh, same product, just new can. Um, so that's it for Power Foam. Uh, if you want to order, go to our website, uh, MinutemanPerformance.com. Uh, that'll link you to the Amsoil website where you can place your order. Uh, if you're going to buy $100 of Amsoil products in a year, please consider becoming a preferred customer. Uh, that will allow you to buy at wholesale prices. And then Amsoil will ship those products straight to your door. And the good thing about being a preferred customer is that not only can you buy AMS oil, oil and filters, uh, but you can also buy uh, Agran fertilizer and Ultram vitamin products uh, with that membership as well. You can become a, a six month, uh, become a member for six months or one year, and you can just add that to your shopping cart right there at the AMS oil website, uh, and you'll save money on that very first order when you become a preferred customer. Uh, please check us out on Facebook at Synthetic Oil Info. Uh, like us there and uh, please also uh, subscribe to our channel here on YouTube. Uh, please tell your friends and family about us so we can help you and them solve your most difficult and challenging oil, lubrication, and filtration problems and questions. Uh, if you have any questions, please post them below here on YouTube or you can send us an email to info at minutemanperformance.com. Uh, that's it for now on this video. Uh, we will see you on the next one and hope you have a great day. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.